Okay, so we got surrender for your first card, Leo. We got good juju. And then we have harvest. Bottom of the deck, we got shame. So there could be somebody that may, they can maybe feel bad about something, Leo. Whoever this is, this is somebody that may have tried to shame you. Maybe they tried to body shame you for some of you guys. Or it could just be saying that maybe you felt this way. Maybe you have body shamed yourself. Maybe you have criticized yourself, Leo. But um, I'm just getting this energy where somebody tried to hide certain parts of themselves from another person or from the world. I'm getting that from somebody. Some of you guys, this is somebody that could be critical of themselves. And maybe they have been critical of you also. I'm getting that for some of y'all. But somebody may have walked away from someone that they was once nurturing. Some of you guys walked away from someone that you was once taken care of. Like somebody that you once carried, you know, cared about. But let's clarify. We got the Knight of Swords. We got the Sun reversed. One more card of spirit in this situation. You know what? I'm going to take it. We got the Queen of Swords in. Dang, that's too many cards. More than one card behind the thing. Okay, we got one. Okay, it came, it came back out. We got the Hermit reversed. So... Leo, you guys may have let go of someone that you was once, like I said, you cared about. Somebody you once cared about. And when you let go of this person, Leo, this is somebody that may have been driving themselves crazy about whether they should come back or not. So it's like you left this person or some of you guys, they may have left you. And even if they left you first, they still in the background going crazy and hesitating on whether they should come back or not, Leo. So either way, there is somebody you let go of that is in their head going back and forth under a lot of pressure about coming forward to you. Because I strongly feel like there could be a lot of things happening to you, Leo, in your life. And I'm talking about for the better because we got good juju. So it's like once you let somebody go, I strongly get that you guys have been experiencing a lot of good things. Like things has just been going in your favor. We got harvest right here. Some of you guys have been working on some things, building yourself up, whether this is your confidence. Because like I said, we got shame at the bottom of the deck. So this could be somebody that has criticized you that could be thinking about coming back. Some of you guys are building your confidence up. Maybe you guys are getting your body right, um, whether you're exercising, eating healthier. Um, some of you guys have been focusing more on your work. Maybe you've been picking extra shifts um, up and making more money, maybe overtime. I'm getting this energy of you starting the business, or maybe some of you guys have started a business. Like, you could be investing into something, Leo. But it's telling me that there is something that is going to, like, happen for you to you in a good way all because you have been working up working on yourself and building your coin so not only been building up your self-esteem but you have been building your coin so that's a good thing and like i said the same person that have walked away from you is the same person that's in the background going back and forth on whether they should come forward or not leo i am getting that energy because whoever this is is going nuts in the background it's like this person could be feeling very sad and unhappy because this, this is all about awareness. Upright, the sun will be awareness. Reverse, you don't know this. This, this person is going crazy because they're not happy right now. You could be experiencing a lot of good karma right now. Some of y'all, this is y'all good karma season right here. Somebody could be 44. I'm seeing 47. I'm seeing 43. I'm seeing 34. 42. So if you like in your 40s, I'm saying, or your 30s, you could be experiencing some like good karma right now over some form of investment. With like I said, it could be 
your financial investments, or it could be your physical health, your diet, like I said, something like that. But it's telling me that the person that have walked away from you that wants to come back, they're not happy because the way their life is going right now. This is somebody that feels like they could be feeling like very lost right now. You're very depressed about the way life is going. And I strongly feel like this was a Virgo. Some of y'all, it could have been a Virgo that left you behind. Or it could be a Leo. Or some of you guys could be a Leo and your person could be a Virgo or an air sign. Virgo, Leo, and air. But it is telling me that whatever it is that you have been working on, I strongly, as far as building yourself up, I strongly feel like it may like have somebody overthink on whether they should come forward or not. Because if this is somebody that may have body shamed you in the past, Leo, or criticized the type of work that you were doing or the type of business that you had going on, you know, or what you do for a living. This is the same person that criticized you is the same person right now that's battling with themselves about coming forward because you make them feel insecure. You are doing a lot better without them, Leo. Whoever this is that's going back and forth about, you know, their life and coming towards you. Like, literally, you made this person feel insecure because you have built yourself up and you have built up your, um, I don't know why I keep hearing self-image in the back of my mind. You have built up your confidence. You have built up, you know, your money ever since this person has left your life. And to see you... Or to know, because I don't know, some of you guys person obviously know, maybe they watching you. But to see you doing better than them, it really does put like, I wouldn't say a hole in their heart. We're going to say a hole in their soul. Like they, they, they just feel like they don't have a life. Like it's like they're comparing they good, your good life, your good juju compared to their life, which is lifeless. Because they're not happy. They're not happy. They're miserable. And they really don't have... A life for real, whoever this is. Some of y'all could be out here traveling, um, or maybe you have to travel for work, Leo. But whatever you do for a living, because some of y'all are business owners, but whatever you do, it's, it's making this person look bad. It really is. The same person that tried to put you down and make you feel bad about your life, your body, or what you got going on in your personal life, your personal space, is the same person that you are making look bad. Like, literally. Because your life is better, have been better without them. But just know that you have somebody over analyzing the situation about, it's like the person that shamed you and criticized you in the past, basically that judged you, is the same person that is like, they underestimated you. Put it like that. This person underestimated you. They didn't know what you were capable of. They didn't know that you can go out here, you know, that this is somebody that didn't know you had the strength to like the to to make this change basically whether you change your appearance you like I said some of y'all didn't switch y'all diet lost some weight some of y'all didn't gain weight if you wanted to gain weight some of you guys have been working on y'all money saving up y'all coin investing in stuff building businesses you know I just get this energy of some level of like gain you know you was more of a win than anything but and it's sad because it came from the same person that was like literally criticizing you, your life, your body. You know, it's crazy. Some of y'all definitely, it could be a Virgo. Don't have to be. But I know Virgos do that. They critical. They real critical, you know, of other people. Very judgmental. So some of y'all could have been dealing with a Virgo. But it stands out so much. But, um, or an air sign or another Leo or another fire sign. But let's dive deeper in this situation. Because the same person that that criticized you and placed judgment on you and try to make you feel bad for being yourself or pursuing a certain job or career or a business deal is the same person that, you know, is looking, is the same person that don't have nothing going on in their life. We're going to put it like that. Some of y'all can be a friend. I'm hearing. Some of y'all can be a whole friend that may have been like criticizing you and judging you and they ain't got nothing to compare. They can't compare themselves to your life. They ain't got, now they don't got shit on you, whoever this is, Leo. Some of y'all, it's a Gemini. We got the lovers right here. Some of y'all, it's another love interest. Yeah, this is somebody that really does have some type of, you have some type of deep bond with, Leo. Yeah, this person in their feelings now. Look. 
Jay ain't got shit to offer you. They coming in as a page and they still a player. So this is love. Cause some of y'all some friends that tried to like criticize what you were doing with your life or your body or with a body shaming or something. But if this is a love interest, just know this person is coming in. They coming in and they're gonna be begging their way back in, Leo. Whoever this is. Look, more earth energy. It gotta be an earth sign. If it ain't a Virgo, it's another earth sign. But we got four of pentacles. Whatever they got to offer you, I'm hearing that you don't want it. It's like they comparing their life to yours, Leo. They ain't got, listen, some of y'all this person ain't got a pot to piss in. This person probably homeless when they come back. Some of y'all this person ain't got no, nothing, like, they ain't got no money. They ain't got no job. I'm hearing they ain't got shit to do. <laughs> That's exactly what I heard. Like, they really giving vibes like the dude off Friday. And I'm not talking about Craig and Dede. I'm talking about the one dude. Ezel. That's what this person look like. Some of y'all person gonna pop up like Ezel. <laughs> Maybe they could be asking you for some money. But this person is definitely coming in broke. But I feel like you may not have no sympathy. You you may not like it's like you not caring. That's the energy that I'm picking up on. You don't care about this person no more. You don't. That's crazy. They definitely not happy the way they money looking. They definitely not happy how everything like is looking on your end compared to their end. Because they really try to like body shame you or try to like make it seem like what you had wasn't enough at one point in time. Meanwhile, you didn't boss the hell up on this person. And now you got this person looking stupid. I'm telling you, this person didn't know what you were capable of, Leo. They didn't know you had it in you to fix yourself like that. They didn't know you had it in you. They underestimated you. And now look at them. They all broke and shit coming in, asking for money, you know, begging their way back in. Like I said, some other person probably homeless. Now they broke. Some of y'all's person could be using sex to come in to get what they want. This person is toxic. They toxic. Some of y'all's person may come in and try to argue with you. Like I said, they may try to use sex to, to get what they want, try to get close to you, Leo, try to use intimacy, whether they try to kiss you or touch you or, like I said, try to make out with you. But it may end up in some form of an argument if they do try to get this close to you. And then they could just be asking you for some money or just begging their way back in. Yeah, this person is very paranoid. They're paranoid. Because it's like you got your guard up. You're making this person feel insecure now. Like they tried to make you feel insecure in the past. Now you are making this person feel insecure right now, Leo. Like literally. That's what they're watching. They watching what you, this is what they want. They want something from you, which is something tangible, which is some money or some sex or a roof over their head or some food. I don't know. They asking you for something, but it's telling me that them coming in, it really does have this person like paranoid, but you, like I said, you could be like guarded over the situation, being very cautious because maybe this person left you messed up at one point in time. Some of y'all have been struggling in your finances. Some of y'all have lost your home. Some of y'all have been, you know, it, it's like they must left you in a real effed up position, Leo, when they have walked away from you to the point where you may have, like, you, you can even barely take care of yourself in your own household. That's the energy. But it's telling me, like, they literally feel insecure because they now they don't have nothing saved up. Now they don't have no money. Now they don't have a job. Now they don't have a home. You see what I'm saying? Wow. Somebody must have left them. Some of y'all, your person tried to hide you at one point in time. If you somebody that they was creeping with at one point in time, Leo, or you were somebody that they was actually in a relationship with, your person was trying to hide the simple fact that they was dealing with you. They left you for somebody else that they were dealing with also. So, yeah, this is somebody that is a player. They just go from person to person using them until they ain't got nothing left. And then it's like once your person spend the money, now they really looking broke and homeless.
and then they off to the next chick or they off to the next man. But that's exactly what I'm seeing. They don't want you to go. And you know what's sad about the situation? Even when they're trying to beg their way back in, I feel like, like I said, y'all are making it difficult. I feel like your person, it's like they're trying to hide the simple fact that they are homeless or they got left by a third party. That's what I'm seeing. Your person going to come back, begging to come back in, trying to make it up to you and stuff and asking you for stuff. But they are hiding the simple fact that they had got left by a third party. And now they're trying to like make it up to you, but they still trying to, the way they're going about it, it's still a piece, it's listen, it's not worth it because they're still trying to keep you a secret. So even if they don't have nobody else in the background, because they probably don't because they ain't got shit. So even if, even if they don't have nobody else in the background, maybe they, everybody that got, they was messing around with got rid of them. Like they purpose, like they still want to keep your relationship on the low. It's like they don't want it publicized. They don't want your relationship to go public. But they want something from you. That's the type of person y'all dealing with. They won't publicize y'all relationship and make it, you know, let everybody know that y'all together. But they want, they always want something from you. They see you as competition, for real, for real. Like, secretly, your person, they see you as competition. Like, the same person that tried to body shame you and talk bad about your work, your business, your career, or your house, or your kids, is the same person that's in your face asking you for shit. That's exactly what I see. Like, they don't want you doing better than them, Leo. That's sad. They want something from you, but you make them look bad. That's why. You make this person look real bad. Like, your level up, it makes them look terrible. And they don't they don't want to look terrible. That's why they want to come back. Not only because they just broke. They just can't stand the simple fact that you are somebody that, you know, that is better than them, Leo. They don't want you to be better than them. They don't want you to be doing better than them. That's the type of person y'all living with. This person is full of BS. They really is. Like, how are you going to want something from somebody, but you want... You don't want to make it official or, and you don't want to publicize the relationship. You see what I'm saying? The only reason why they want to come back, back around is they see you doing better than them and they just don't want you to do, to do better than them. They're jealous of you. That's why they body shamed you. That's why they talk bad about your household. That's why they talk bad about your, you know, your work, your business, your career, whatever you do for a living. This is somebody who was throwing a hell of a shade, Leo, whoever this is. They was throwing some shade at you. They was hating on you for real. Even if you really didn't have like a top-notch job or, you know what I'm saying, or the best type of home, like at least you was decent, right? They was really judging you based on like, they was like, they was really judging you based on like the level of, of stuff, the quality of stuff that you had, Leo. And it's sad that they really did, like, do this to you. And now that you're looking different and feeling a lot better with yourself and your health, it's like now all of a sudden they want to come back. But like I said, their intentions ain't good, period. Either way, they don't have good intentions towards you because they're not trying to make it official. They're not trying to publicize a relationship if they was. And they just not looking to, like, shack up with somebody. They just looking to, like... Just use somebody and then get up out of there because they can't stand to see you doing better than them. We got mirror. Yeah, somebody can't accept their wrongs. Like they're not trying to like explain themselves, Leo. And maybe that could be the reason why y'all start arguing because this person not only can't apologize to you about what they have done, but they also like, yeah, I, I feel like they can't apologize for what they have done to you. And I just feel like this person, they just, they're just full of shit. I'm going to be real with y'all, Leo. Like, I don't like this energy. That's why I'm like stumbling my words because the energy is really tough. Like this is somebody that's very tough to deal with. And I just feel like, them apologizing to, to you and it will make them feel like they did something wrong and they don't want to feel like they did something wrong to you, Leo, even though they did do something wrong to you. This is somebody that just don't like to accept the simple fact that they are a flawed individual, you know, but arguing with them is kind of like it will put some type of um 
It will hurt their ego. You calling them out on their BS, because some of y'all are. You calling them out on their BS from the past or what they have done to you or recently is is like making it look making your person have to look at themselves. And it's like they don't want to. But I am seeing that some of y'all could be calling this person out and they still could be trying to beg their way back in because they ain't got nowhere to go. They ain't got nowhere to go. We got Cupid's arrow. And they ain't going to give up on you either. Some of y'all's person going to just pop up out of nowhere. They're going to pop up out of nowhere. Some of y'all's person going to be looking through your window or just um, been watching you online, making, you know, making certain moves. Some of y'all's person afraid of you being with somebody else. Like I said, they just don't want you doing better than them. Even if that, that means to come back and take everything you have. This is how selfish this person is. They really don't like the simple fact that you have like leveled up, Leo, after they shamed you. After they talked down on you. You know, but they're afraid of you finding somebody better than them. They're afraid of you finding somebody better than them. I don't know why they're afraid because when they had you, they wasn't trying to like claim you. They wasn't. They wasn't trying to claim you. Yeah, they're trying to pop up, trying to flirt with you and some of y'all may be in another connection with somebody else. Some of y'all are in another connection with somebody else. Low key. Maybe this person don't know. And it's like they're trying to like beat another person to the punch you know what i'm saying like to, to win you over but some of y'all low-key have somebody else and they probably just don't notice but for the rest of y'all i just felt like i don't know they're just they're afraid of somebody else snatching you up and they want it's like some of y'all do have somebody i ain't gonna lie some of y'all do have somebody new. I just keep picking up on that energy where some of y'all do have somebody else. Okay. Yeah, they're afraid of you having somebody else. The rest of y'all don't have somebody else, but that's heavily on this person's mind. The thought of you being with somebody else and doing better without them, what? That tears them up inside. That tears them up inside, child. That tears them up. Because I feel like most of y'all's person is in a thought. Some of y'all's person haven't even came forward yet. But they will eventually. They really thinking about coming back and fuck shit up. Like, I'm so serious. Y'all person is a, a savage. I'm not even going to lie. Selfish, little savage. That's exactly what they is. They really thinking about coming out and back in and, and f things up, Leo, because they like falling apart. You know, they don't. It's like if you're not happy, if I'm not happy, you're not happy. That's the type of energy that I'm picking up on. They really think they're about to come in and like destroy things in your life after things are just going really good for you, whether you're single or not. Some of y'all together with somebody else or dating somebody else. The rest of y'all are single and, it's, and, and enjoying the fruits of your of your labor. That's exactly what I heard. But I strongly feel like the person been watching you the whole time while you were leveling up, Leo. Hopeful, inspired, optimistic, and then we got success right here. They haven't gave up at all. So it's telling me some of y'all's person already came back before, but you rejected them. The second time, it's like they so confident, Leo, about this. Like, it's like they kind of want revenge for real, for you making them look bad. That's the energy that I'm picking up on. Somebody has want revenge for making you look, I mean, for making them look bad. Meanwhile, keep in mind, they body shamed you. They talked bad about you and your life in the past, Leo. They can't stand to, to, to have somebody get the upper hand. Like, to see you doing better and defeat them, it puts a hole in this person's soul, okay? It really does. Like, they have not gave up at all. Look, this, this person is very disloyal. You can't trust this person. They're so confident about the situation. It's like they know that you, it's over. They know it's over. They know you don't want nothing to do with them no more because you don't trust them. 
They too confident. They in some of illusion because I strongly feel like you don't want them. <laughs> this person is too confident, like for no reason. And I say this because they have so much confidence to like come in and destroy your life. It's crazy. Them not knowing that you don't even really want them. Like I said, whether you have somebody new or not, I'm seeing some of y'all do have somebody that actually does like you. You know what I'm saying? The rest of you guys, you don't have nobody right now. Their plan is just to come in and trash everything, take over. I don't like this energy. The person is holding some form of resentment towards you because you made them look bad. But they made you look bad in the past. And that's why you have, you fixed all of that. You fixed everything. You got yourself together. It's like they want to punish you for making them look bad. Whose fault is that? That's your life you got to live. They got to live their life the way they want to live it. And you live in yours the way you want to live it. This person is crazy. Some of y'all going to end up getting rid of them. Um, winter time. So something happened in the winter time. Or they could be popping up in the winter time. But I feel like your person could be thinking about what caused y'all relationship to fumble in the first place. They, they, they in their head constantly. No lie. This person is always in their head. They just thinking about it's like they know they're not, you're not their type, but at the same time, they, they it's like they think about the past that what happened between y'all and what what they have done in order to cause this breakup between y'all or split up. And um I don't know, I feel like some of y'all are done. Or maybe it could be saying that you had got rid of them in the winter time of the season, a winter season. It don't have to be it can be last year or year before. It don't even have to be. I just feel like this is the season that you fell out with this person was in the winter time. I'm hearing like January, February for somebody. You fell out with this person. And they still like remain hopeful. This person is delusional as hell. Especially if you don't want them. Dang, I'm tucked back in. I need two more. Okay, we got one. We got two. Yup. You leaving them out where you at. This person really thinking about effing shit up and and leaving. They hope that you will like literally change your mind and let them back in, Leo, after they left. Just so they can fuck up some shit. Didn't I say that? That's sad. They know you don't trust them. But they really hope and pray that you'll take them back so they, you know, so you can change your mind about how you view them just to F up some. Your person wants to punish you for making them look bad. That's exactly what I'm seeing. It's a soulmate connection. This is an old soulmate. But like I said, didn't I say some of y'all found new love? Or if not, if you ain't got a new lover, you love yourself. Like I said, you love yourself. But they are manifesting you back. They want a renewal of love, Leo. They are manifesting you back. And you know what's crazy? You you are the divine. You are the divine feminine in this situation. Like I said, some of y'all on your self-love journey. You loving yourself. Meanwhile, they're back here taking the loss after loss after loss. They fighting temptation right now. Because like I said, some of y'all's person is not sure if you are in another connection or not. And if you're not, they hoping that you will change your mind about how you see them. Just so they can come in and destroy every goddamn thing. What type of person y'all dealing with, Leo? This person crazy. They gotta be out of their rabbit ass mind to sit here and think they about to plot and destroy your good karma. Just because they don't want to get their life together. This person crazy. Crazy motherfucker. We got, I don't know where to start. Yeah, they're not feeling lost. They don't know how, they conflicted. They back and forth on whether I should come forward and speak to them or whether I just, just leave and let it go. Still conflicted. They don't know what to do with the situation. They don't know how you're going to handle it. They don't know if you're going to reject them. They don't know if you're going to change your mind or not. I can't express myself. They, you know, they don't even know how to communicate. This person don't even know how to communicate with you. They lost. They don't know how to communicate. They all in their head, all crazy. We already know that. This person lost their damn mind.
I cry at night. Wow, your person be grieving. And I think I did see that Queen of we seen that Queen of Cups reverse that I pulled at the bottom of the deck. Look, it's right here. This person is hurt. You make them look bad. They hurt. They grieving. Like I said, and you don't feel bad. Some of y'all don't feel bad. I need to figure myself out. Yeah, because they don't have their life together. We got the sun reversed. They don't have their life to get together, Leo. A lot of y'all don't know this, but they don't. They don't have their life together. And that's why they're so pressed about your life and, you know, worrying about you so much because you make them look bad. What type of person is that? But I'm going to go ahead and end it right here, Leo, and y'all take care.